Hello there children, welcome back. This time I've come up with a video on amphibians and that too, a very common amphibian, a frog. The characteristics of amphibians is they are found in moist and damp places. That helps keep their skin moist because they breathe through their skin. This is the skin through which they can breathe. Now, you can also see certain movements in the buccal cavity of the frog. It also breathes through the buccal cavity because the buccal cavity is rich with blood capillaries through which exchange of gases takes place. And when it is alarmed and it needs more oxygen, it also breathes through pulmonary respiration. It has two hind legs which are long as you can see them over here. They are webbed I'm sorry as you can see they are webbed the webbed feet hind legs they help in swimming pushing the water backwards when they are swimming and the front legs are short they help it in holding the prey it has a tongue which is attached in the anterior end I'll just show you that here I'll show you the tongue which is fixed in the front end. Our tongue is free in the front end. Now have a look at this. Now here, I'm trying to remove its tongue. Just check this out. It is attached in the front end, as you can see. There it is out. It is attached in the front. See? I'll show it to you once again. There it is. I hope you get it this time. The tongue is attached in the front end and it is free at the back. So it just whips out its tongue. See, it just took its tongue inside. It just whips its tongue out. The tongue is very sticky and so the prey probably an insect sticks to it and it rolls the tongue back in this way like it'll do it just now just check it out come on little fellow just roll your tongue back ah there it does and it has very good sight its vision is very nice it loves it here you can also see all the four feet at the same play at the same time this happens to be a male as you can see this small patch of muscular tissue ectodermal tissue in the front legs in order to clasp the female during the mating and the webbed feet they are actually long and the webbed feet of some of the frogs found in oriental countries are relished as a delicate dish a very tasty dish in these countries so here's our little fellow. Let's tell him goodbye before it takes a final leap. It's reluctant, I suppose, to take a final leap. See, you can also see it's undergoing pulmonary respiration. Its lungs, it is using its lungs to breathe. This only happens when it needs more oxygen. Thank you so much.